Good evening. Welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm here to do my latest book review. Before I get into the book review, please stay safe. Um, we have two pandemics here in the U.S. We have COVID-19 and racism, and neither one seems to be getting better. Um, but with no further ado, this author here, I've read three books. One she co-wrote with another author, and I read another one of her novels. And this one here left me feeling emotional. When I finished reading this book, I went to bed. It just bothered me so much because I can relate to it. Um, with no further ado, I am talking about Jealousy, She Was My Best Friend by LaVon. LaVon, LaVon, you did this. You have Brandy, who is the main character, who, if I had to put her, if I was doing um a top five villain of all the books I read, she would be in my top three. That's how trifling and low down Brandy was. You have Mika, her supposed to be best friend. Um, love Mika. I saw myself in her. She was very loyal um, to Brandy. Brandy was a loyal to back to her. Um, this book touched me because I once had a so-called, I would say, best friend who, for example, say it was three of us going out. He would never pay the bill. Oh, I got the tip. Never offered to pay the bill. Something happened in our relationship, or our friendship, and we just broke up. Um, I think we was friends from 99 to... 2012, and I was, it was to me, when I look back now, I look at the things like for us, my personal relationship, my better health, he would instigate stuff that caused trouble in my relationship, you know, and I look back on it and just shake your head. And just like Brandy, I felt like he wanted my life. She was jealous. She wanted Mika's life. And when Style, a.k.a. Christian, came into the picture, proven fact, what she was about to do, um, just, if you have a best friend, why you want to hold on to some information and try to blow it up? I'm glad it didn't turn out the way she wanted it to. I also want to say that I love how when Mika took uh, Kristen to meet her family, I love her family, especially her grandmother. Oh, my God. That grandmother had me just a laugh and a kiki. I love Mika's grandmother. Back to Brandy. Trifling. How are you going to expect for a man to take care of you? And then when this man don't take care of you, you go home living with mama. Mama's working. Your sister's successful. And then when mama's had enough with the incident with Nard, that's another situation. I mean, I don't care how good her good good was supposed to be. In. It ain't that good to the point that you want to stay at home, have a man take care of you. You don't do nothing but go to the hair salon, the nail salon. You want to look cute, go to the mall, but you ain't bringing nothing to the table. It's so much of a man will allow you to do that to the point he's going to be like, okay, he's going to see this other woman over here who's about something like Mika who, you know, have goals, values, and making it and living on her own. Brandy didn't have no motive. 
just no goals, no value to do nothing. She just didn't want to work or anything. At one point when I'm reading this book, I'm like, I think she feel like she too good to work or do anything. I couldn't stand her, LaVon. I'm just going to tell you, it was parts in this book. When reading Brand, I had to put the book down and walk away. That's how much I dislike her. And I didn't really even know her. She just within this, a character in this book. Um, and the sad part about it is that you have women that's in real life that's like her. That's what gets me. When she met Blaze, I was like, here come trouble. As you know, I don't give away spoilers. And I just want to say this before I wrap this review up. Is that LaVon, that ending, I'm glad I don't have your number. Because I would have had to call and talk with you. Because that ending was, it just had me shook. I couldn't do nothing. I, I went to bed the next day. It was just on my mind like, oh my God. I mean, this book here will make you want to look in the mirror at yourself and question your friendship, your loyalty with that friend. Who's in your inner circle? Are they really for you? Or they, do they have another motive for anything? But I just want to say that ended. I was not well for. Again, Jealousy, She Was My Best Friend by LaVon. This is a five star. I wish I could give it more than five star. I originally did it on my Goodreads when I finished reading this. Um, it didn't go over, so now I went into Amazon physically and posted my review. This is part of an anthology. It's um, I want to say it's like five other authors who wrote She Was My Best Friend also, too, with different titles along with that. Please get this book by LaVon. You will not be disappointed. Please, if you get jealousy, she was my best friend by LaVon. Please leave a review. It's very important. And I want to say this before I log off is that the whole time I was reading this book, I was thinking about Kelly Price. She was a friend of mine. True to the point of this book. Thank those who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm on Instagram, Robert's Reading Room. My Facebook group is Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. Thank you all for your support and your love. Please subscribe if you have not to my YouTube channel, Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. Again, jealousy. She was a she was my best friend. Bye.